Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble your Orca 2 Cygnus. Cut the cable ties with snippers or wire cutters and take out the packing cushions. Put the Z-frame aside and take out the supporting parts that have a remove tag. You will see the zip ties and tags. Make sure all packing material is removed. Open the accessory box 1. Take out the hex wrenches and corner connectors or corner braces. Use the 6mm hex wrench to attach the small black corner connector to the Z-frame. There is a hex bolt on the corner connector that is not being used right now. Remove it and set it aside. As you tighten the bolt, make sure the back side of the corner connector and the bottom of the bar are even or flush. You may need a pair of tweezers here. Put the nut into the slot next to the white A label. Use the tweezers to turn the nut over to make it face up. Now we're going to attach the large Z-frame to the heat plate. Slide the heat plate away from you. Hold the Z-frame to make sure the connector is aligned. Find the white A label. Get the 5mm hex wrench and hold up the screw from under the bar using the wrench. Align the frame so the white A labels are together. Then tighten the screw. Get the hex bolt you took off the corner connector earlier and attach the connector to the bottom frame. Open the box and take out the black heat bed. Pull the bed plate to the end and insert the heat bed into its frame. You'll hear a click if it's inserted correctly. Tighten the screws on the left and the right side of the plate using the 4mm hex wrench. Open another box and take out the control unit and the display. Attach the control unit to the Z-frame. There are two screws on the unit to connect it to the frame. Make sure these screws fit into the slot or the metal tab on the frame. Use a 3mm hex wrench to tighten the screws. The display attaches to the bottom frame in the same manner. Tighten the display with the 3mm hex wrench. You see the display anchor bolt slide into a hole or slot in the frame. Tighten the screw to anchor the display in place. Next step, take out the filament and cable clamps. Use your hand to take off the end cap of the top bar. Insert two black cable clamps and slide them across the top bar. Put back the end cap.
Open a box and take out the extruder. Clip the cable tie or zip tie and take off the packing cushion. Attach the extruder straight on to the horizontal bar. There are two alignment pins on the sliding bar chassis. Snap on the extruder. If you snap it on correctly, you'll hear a clicking sound. Finally, the wire harnesses or cables. Clip any packing ties from the wire harnesses. Connect the motors and end stop harnesses. Attach them according to the user's manual. Make sure the connectors are hand tightened. Do not over tighten. Another box contains the extruder cable. Take it out. Clip off any packing ties. Feed the cable through the cable clamp on the top bar. Attach the harness connector to the extruder. Turn on the main power, then turn on the printer to check if the extruder works normally. I hope this video helps. Please contact us if you have any questions. Enjoy your printer.